What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, I want to talk about the unfairness, the biasness in the sport of boxing that seems to get overlooked. And it only gets overlooked when it's involving African American boxers. Here we have the quote unquote Bible of boxing. The Ring Magazine, ESPN, they're, they're connected, right? We know they're connected. They somewhat work together. But the Ring Magazine alone is considered the Bible of boxing. Then you have Sports Illustrated, right? And you talk about the unfairness. Everybody likes to gloss over it. Nobody likes to keep it 100 when it comes to the sport of boxing. And so here, now... We have the quote-unquote Bible of the sport of boxing, the Ring Magazine. And the Ring Magazine, once again, shows their biasness to the sport of boxing. And adjustments needs to be made. As we see now, they come out with a ranking system for the lightweight division. And in the lightweight division, their ranking system goes as such. It's undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who... They had no choice but to put him as the champion because he's the undisputed champion, right? And then at number one, get this. They have two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasily Hitek Lomachenko. But Vasily Lomachenko has lost all of his biggest fights. The last few big fights that Lomachenko had, he came up short. He came up short. He has a record of 17 wins, 3 losses, no draw, 11 wins by way of knockout. He took on Tiafimo Lopez, now the former unified lightweight world champion, the current WBO junior welterweight champion, two-division world champion, superstar boxer Tiafimo Lopez, and he lost a unanimous decision. Then, most recently, he took on Devin Haney, and he lost unanimous decision. And people try to always label asterisk by his losses. He lost to Orlando Salido. He didn't avenge that loss. He lost to Teofimo Lopez, and they said, well, it was the shoulder injury he suffered. He lost to Devin Haney, and they said, well, the judges robbed him. No, he lost. Then at number two, they have the undefeated, five-time three-division world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. Behind Lomachenko? Javante Tank Davis has a record of 29 wins, no loss, no draw. 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, 5'5 with a 67-inch arm reach. Lomachenko is 35, 36, 5'6 with a 66-inch arm reach. they both southpaws. Tank Davis, coming off of the biggest win of his career, the most lucrative fight of his career, knocking out one of the four kings, that was labeled the new version of Four Kings in junior welterweight now, lightweight Mexican superstar title contender, King Ryan Ryan Garcia, who was undefeated when Tank Davis fought him. 23 wins, no loss, no draws, 19 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, 5'10 with a 70-inch arm reach. Tank Davis dropped him in the second round then knocked him out in the seventh round. Ryan Garcia... Right? One of the four kings. Javante Tank Davis, one of the four kings. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, and Tiafimo Lopez. Tank Davis knocks out one of the four kings. Lomachenko loses to two of the four kings. He lost to Devin Haney and he lost to Tiafimo Lopez. He didn't get a knockout. And he got dominated in the first half of both of those fights. He made it close in the second half. The Matrix. And then we have at number three, get this. I seek Pitbull Cruz. Right? I seek Pitbull Cruz. Mexican lightweight superstar title contender. I seek Pitbull Cruz. I seek Pitbull Cruz. Claim to fame is fighting and losing to Javante Tank Davis. Fighting, and again, I'm going to say this again. Fighting and losing to Javante Tank Davis is I seek Pitbull Cruz's 
claim to fame. Outside of that, Isaac Cruz, he's beaten Yoriokas Gamboa, right? He has some okay wins. But he, again, his claim to fame is what? Fighting and losing to Javante Tank Davis. To Javante Tank Davis. They have Isaac Pitbull Cruz at number three, right? Over Shakur Stevenson. Now, I know Shakur Stevenson just made his debut in the ring in the lightweight division. But now, let's look at this. I see Pitbull Cruz has a record of 24 wins, two losses, one draw, 17 wins by way of knockout. He's five foot three with a 63 inch arm reach, and he's 23, 25 years of age. Right? His claim to fame again is being able to go the distance in an entertaining fight against Javante Tank Davis. But he lost nine rounds to three. He lost nine rounds to three. Right? This is the quote-unquote Bible of boxing that people will go off of this quote-unquote Bible of boxing. Casuals, more important. So I see Pitbull Cruz is over undefeated Olympic silver medalist, two-division world champion, former unified super featherweight WBO, WBC world champion, now the lightweight Superstar title contender Shakur Stevenson. 20 wins, no loss, no draw. 10 wins by way of knockout. 25 years of age. 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm reach. And I see Pitbull Cruz has been calling for a fight with, excuse me, Shakur Stevenson has been calling for a mega fight with I see Pitbull Cruz who's turned him down. He's turned him down. So Isaac Cruz is refusing to fight Shakur Stevenson. Lomachenko just went on record, and his team is on record saying that they have no interest in fighting Shakur Stevenson because of his style, right? They have no interest in fighting Shakur Stevenson because of his style. He's he's very slick, right? And then you have uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis already beaten Isaac Pitbull Cruz, right? Lomachenko lost to two of the four kings and has three losses on his resume to Orlando Salido. Right? And this is who we are, are choosing. This is who they're choosing to place. Isaac Cruz over Shakur Stevenson because he was in a con close competitive fight with Javante Tank Davis. Outside of that, what big names has Isaac Pitbull Cruz beaten? Right? And if Shakur Stevenson and Isaac Cruz was made, Isaac Shakur Stevenson would be the favorite. Javante Tank Davis, if, if a fight was made to him and Lomachenko, Javante Tank Davis will be the favorite. Why is Isaac Cruz and why is Lomachenko ahead of Shakur Stevenson? Shakur Stevenson, Lomachenko don't even want to fight him. Shakur Stevenson called him out and Lomachenko said, thanks but no thanks. But they, then they'll say there's no bias. There's no favoritism. How is Lomachenko on there at number one when he lost three times already. In, in a total of 20 fights, he has three losses. He has the same amount of fights that Shakur Stevenson has, but he has three losses. He came up short in majority of his big fights. So how could he possibly be ahead of Shakur Stevenson and Javante Tank Davis? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Are we basing these rankings off of talent? Past accomplishments, what is the what is the qualifications for this ranking system? There's no way that you would rate that you would have Lomachenko over Tank Davis. Because see, people said that Lomachenko, when he went in a fight with Devin Haney, it would be a miracle if he was able to keep up with Devin Haney. He would get knocked out possibly by Tank Davis, and then people will say he was old. How's he number one? It, it doesn't matter what Lomachenko does in his career. He'll always stay at the top of the pound-for-pound pound list. That's terrible. It's misleading. It's irresponsible when you're, quote-unquote, the, the, the Bible of boxing. Then you have Sports Illustrated putting on Jake Paul on the cover of Sports Illustrated for boxing to represent the sport of boxing 
when you have the biggest fight in 40 years getting ready to take place next Saturday, where, um, you're going to have you're going to have Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence face off against one another in the biggest fight in boxing. This is why the bias lies. This is where it comes from. Let's see now that Devin Haney is possibly moving up to 140 to fight Regis Progray, two-time WBC junior welterweight world champion at 140, superstar boxer, and they expect him to vacate his belts. Now Shakur Stevenson and Lomachenko is ranked one and two in the WBC rankings, and they looking to order that fight. Let's see if he take it. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.